Traveler's Rest, South Carolina is a town known by many names. The locals here call it TR. It's been featured in magazines and called things as cool as Little Boulder. But me, I call it home. My name is Meredith Rigdon and welcome to Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. We're gonna take you on a little journey and show you how to spend the perfect weekend in Traveler's Rest. Traveler's Rest is a town named for what it literally used to be. As travelers came down the mountains from Asheville to visit Greenville, South Carolina, a textile capital at the time, they would stop in Traveler's Rest to rest for the night before they traveled on to Greenville, South Carolina. Now, after you've rested in Traveler's Rest, your first stop for the perfect weekend should be coffee and breakfast. There's amazing coffee to be found all over this town. From Tandem, who's famous for their coffee and their crepes, my personal favorite is the Lumberjack, to Topsoil. Topsoil began right before the pandemic hit and they have thrived afterward. Topsoil features dinner and brunch and they're starting to open back up for lunch, so be sure and check them out. A little further down Main Street, you'll find the Treehouse Cafe. Amazing coffee, paninis, sandwiches, and it's owned by a local art teacher who took her passion for art into her coffee house. On the weekend, you'll find more spots for breakfast and coffee. Brunch at Farmhouse is amazing with their creative margaritas, and you can also stop into Monkey Ranch for an amazing brunch. Once you've finished your breakfast and coffee and TR, it's time to experience TR just like the locals do by bike. Almost everything in downtown Traveler's Rest is accessible by the Swamp Rabbit Trail or across the street from the Swamp Rabbit Trail. There are a few bike stops to choose from. We're starting here at Free Hub. Free Hub has sales, service, and rentals, and they do weekly group rides on Thursdays and Saturdays so you can meet some locals and learn where to ride in beautiful Traveler's Rest. What's a perfect weekend in Traveler's Rest without some shopping? We're inside Urban Hair TR, which just opened a few months ago. It's a home decor and floral shop. It's home to Caitlin Penner, who does floral design. She also has classes. Just this weekend, they'll be having a kids pottery class. And recently, there was a fall wreath making class. Come inside to Urban Hair and shop all the amazing gifts and home decor they have available. I saw a hedgehog gravy boat that I think I have to have. Come on inside. I love the people of Traveler's Rest. Everyone here is so friendly and welcoming, whether they've lived here all their life or they just moved here a few years ago. It's almost like when you move to Traveler's Rest, you become a little bit happier. I also love Main Street. When you have nothing to do on a weekend, just come wander Main Street and Traveler's Rest. You're sure to make a friend and you're sure to find something to make your day better. Every great bike ride in Traveler's Rest ends with a great Traveler's Rest beer. Stop by Swamp Rabbit Brewery for a locally brewed beer. There's a regular food truck schedule so you can fill your belly too. If the food trucks aren't for you, next door to Swamp Rabbit Brewery is Shortfields. It's a locally owned restaurant with amazing food that the whole family will love. And there's a great bar with TVs if there's a game you want to catch. There's plenty of options for shopping in Traveler's Rest. The Good Market Co. just opened recently. It features gifts, local artists, and is a community-minded store. It's owned by an interior designer, and she wanted to bring some of her gifts and inspiration into this space. You'll find items like this Traveler's Rest flag that's also similar to what's made for the Atlanta Braves. You'll find local coffee here, and you'll find some of the cutest gifts that maybe you need or maybe a friend needs. Have some fun, come inside the Good Market Co. and get some shopping done. If you're planning a day or a few days of adventure in Traveler's Rest, you have to stop in to Sunrift Adventures. 
Little secret, I'm 43 years old and Sunrift is only 42 years old. I've shopped here all my life and it's literally the spot you cannot miss when you visit Traveler's Rest. They've got everything you need for hiking, biking, climbing, and paddling, and you can rent bikes here for your adventures on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. They've also got tons of gifts, apparel, basically everything you'd need for a weekend or your life here in Traveler's Rest little secret for you again it's also dog friendly my myrtle loves to come into sunrift come on into sunrift and check out everything they have traveler's rest really is a town as charming as its name after you've spent a day adventuring whether it was by bike whether you were shopping we know you enjoyed an amazing coffee and breakfast an amazing lunch and an amazing dinner there are still amazing places to rest in Traveler's Rest. At the end of your day of adventures, come to where the locals love to have their nightcap, the Community Tap TR. It's a spot that was started in downtown Greenville and now, because of the trail and because of the draw of this beautiful town of Traveler's Rest, they came here too. They're located on Main Street beside Sushiyama where you can have an amazing sushi dinner. They're also close to the Swamp Rabbit Inn you can walk home to your cozy bed at the Swamp Rabbit Inn or another local spot called The Station. Both places, you can stay right on the trail and walk or bike for all of your adventures here in Traveler's Rest. Thank you for joining us for the perfect weekend in Traveler's Rest. If you have any questions about Traveler's Rest, the Upstate, or Greenville, I'd love to talk to you. Find all of my contact information on the homepage of my YouTube channel. Again, my name is Meredith Rigdon, and I'd love to be your Traveler's Rest Tour Guide. Bye.